one year ago today, I stopped smoking. But I didn't plan on it. And I didn't tell anybody that I was going to do it. One morning, I just got up and I thought to myself, well, maybe I can wait another hour. And then after that hour, I thought, well, maybe I can wait another hour. And I did that all through the morning. And then the afternoon came and I kept doing it. And uh, I can't say I didn't have any help. I actually want to say that I contribute a lot of it to, uh, well, uh, I started taking fish oil tablets before, uh, about a month and a half or two before I got to this point. I noticed that I felt a lot more relaxed, and it's just the effect they had on me. But I thought to myself that, uh, you know, I got tired of spending 120 or $30, uh, you know, $130 a month on cigarettes. Uh, I've been smoking for decades, and uh, so I got tired of throwing my money away, got tired of feeling unhealthy or, you know, certainly feeling like I was absolutely, you know, maybe pushing the, uh, the window or pushing the envelope. Uh, and another thing that uh, really had an, uh, uh, an impact on my decision to, 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 I guess, have the resolve to at least push it off one more hour, hour after hour, was when I found out that a lot of the money that I had actually been spending on cigarettes was going to tobacco companies so that they could get other people hooked on tobacco. That just didn't set well with me at all. I think before I go any further, I need to let you know I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm just trying to tell you how I was able to quit smoking. And I just was mentioning that I do think that the fish oil pills I took helped, helped to relax me. Uh, I never thought that that's what they were intended to do and they work for me and they may not work for you. And there was also the e-cigarettes, electronic cigarettes, similar to this. This particular one is called Smoke Tip, but I think they're all, well, I have no idea, but I imagine they're all relatively similar. It was nice to know that I had something like this to fall back on. I thought I would really be relying on these. I really did. Once I started getting past uh, the first few hours, I was, oh, so expecting that, oh, I'm going to start getting very angry, temperamental, and I'm probably going to be relying on uh, an e-cigarette just as much as I did the regular cigarettes. That was not the case at all. In fact, I found that I hardly used them at all. Maybe a little bit in the evening before I went to bed for the first couple weeks. And I'm not so sure that wasn't just <laughs> because I kind of felt like, wow, I gotta, must need something. I want to say that I think now, looking back, one of the biggest obstacles to my quitting smoking, again after decades, was that everybody said how hard it was. Everybody told me it's tough, it's harder than quitting heroin. And I was a very dedicated smoker. I wasn't just a every now and then, I was a good pack a day smoker and part of my life even more than that. So, I, I was amazed at that, but uh, besides, well, the fish oil pills, uh, tablets, or whatever, the vitamins, whatever they are, supplements, and the e-cigarettes, the e which I leaned on here again very little, what, besides the, those things, the hour to hour, just putting it off one more hour really helped, but some other things that helped in my mindset that really got me... Um, where I needed to be was first of all I don't like the idea of being a slave to any one or anything and I felt that cigarettes I was a slave to them I felt like they would tell me oh every hour you need to come and do something with me 
And I just, that really just, that is so against my grain, as I believe in freedom. And uh, certainly, if you're, if any substance that you have to answer to, that it has that power over you, well, that that is just absolutely unacceptable to me. So I never thought, I, well, I guess let's put it this way. I put it in terms of I'm not worried about I'm going to try to find ways uh, uh, to go get the cigarette. I did the opposite. I put it in my mind that I'm trying to run from the cigarette. As if the cigarette was my captor. And every, every hour that I, I didn't have a cigarette, I felt I was that much further from my captor being able to capture me. It got to be so, by the th third day, I was so far from my captor, there was no way it was going to be able to catch me. And there sure was no way I was going to go return to my prison. I was not about to seek them out. So that was really huge. That was really huge. It turned it from my, oh gosh, I hope I can stay away, to <laughs> they're never going to catch me. A way different uh, psychological ap approach and mindset. The other uh, mindset or psychological trick, if you will, that I did was I viewed, I, I first of all, and I believe this is true, but even if I didn't, I would have done what I could to convince myself that my mind is so powerful that being able to stop smoking would be like taking my hands that could practically, uh, you know, bend a, a steel rod. Just got a lot of power in these hands. And I would, in my mind, I would say this is my me, the power of me and my mind to the cigarette is like the power of my hands trying to break a, a pencil. It would be a, a, just a snap, a cinch. There's, there, it would be ludicrous to think. It would just be unimaginable to think that my hands couldn't break that pencil. So, those are the, besides having the, the fish oil, which I don't know for sure, but it seemed like it kind of set things right where I was uh, mellow enough and relaxed enough uh, going into it. That was a help. And then knowing that I had psychologically, at least, a uh, crutch to fall back on, like these electronic cigarettes. And I want to say this here again. I, I swear, I'm not trying to pit. If you can do whatever you can find. But the, like, there's brands I won't name, but we know, we all know, but you know the ones I'm talking about. And they have, you know, gum, patch. First of all, uh, I want to just say about the patch. Uh, you know, that, that, that seems like, well, I'm not going to go into it, but I, I just, I would never go for the patch. And there's this other... Um, something you can take, some prescription you can get from your doctor, where the side effects are, well, let's just say, I think I'll just stick with smoking, thank you. And then the gum. Now, I tried the gum a long time ago. One of my problems is, I, maybe it's just me because I'm a gum chewer, but I couldn't, quote, park it. I would chew and chew until I felt like my heart was going to jump out of my, my chest. All these things, though, that are supposed to be, quote, designed to get you to stop smoking, well, my opinion is they just want you to stop smoking, but they certainly don't want you to stop being on nicotine. And I know that's been some of the criticism about the e-cigarettes, and it's like, come on, you know, it, well, anyway, at any rate, at least don't use that as your, your guise, if you will. 
because now there's commercials out where the girl's in the car and a guy pulls up next to her and he's smoking and she's like, like I can't do that anymore, but oh, hey, look what I got. That's, again, a lot of, it's hard for me to refrain from, but I'll just call it BS. So, I had the, the like I said, the, the, the fish tablets, or, go, or supplements, the fish oil, and my little psychological crutch at least, and that's how it seems because I hardly used it at all. And the mindset that I'm no longer going to be a slave, I'm running from my captors, and of course, mentally, I'm way, 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 I have way more mind power <laughs> to stop this than I need. It's, I've got like a tremendous surplus. And the hour after hour, it got to be, well, I can have this tomorrow. I can have it next week. Well, the next thing you know, I haven't smoked for a month. Next thing you know, I forgot I ever smoked. And I, I you know, told my doctor, and I said, I, I can't believe it. Honest, honest as I can be. It was one of the easiest things I have ever done. I kind of compared it to if I really had to make a running charge at a door, because I just knew I had to give it all I had, and the door just swung open. And to that, I really do think one of my biggest obstacles was everybody saying how hard, how, oh, he'll never, he'll, hey, forget that. I'm telling you, it's a breeze. It's a cinch. Just get that it's hard stuff out of your mind. And I put myself purposefully after about three weeks in a situations where I was around people who smoked. And, and not only was I not tempted, I was a little bit nauseated. And I'm not trying to be, you know, and I'm not one to ever go around telling people, oh, you need to quit smoking because, you know, I quit, you know, that's, hey, it, there's worse things, really. But I do tell people I quit, and if they ever want to know how, I'm glad to tell them. Other than that, I'm not, there's no judgments, there's nothing now. Everybody's got their own thing. And, 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 and speaking of judgments, they said food tastes better. Well, not for me. Food already tasted really good, even when I smoked. My appetite did increase, though. It really increased. It went through the roof. The first two or three weeks, it, I felt like I could... Uh, I just was hungry all the time. But I started, you know, working with that and modifying, you know, my, myself. And, and, you know, after about a month and a half, I started to kind of get it, you know, where it was. Um... I definitely did gain a few pounds, but I'm starting to lose that weight, and uh, and I will, and I'll get back on track, and everything is, everything's all, it's all good. So anyways, one year ago today, I said goodbye to cigarettes, it is to the point now where seriously, I can't, it's like I never smoked at all, it's, I mean, in my mind, it's like, pfft. It's just, it's like it never happened. So hopefully what I'm saying to you will, will be useful and helpful and, um, you know, just take the easy way and quit smoking <laughs> because you no longer have to be outside in the rain. You no longer have to feel funny. It's your clothes smell. You don't have to, you know, try to plan things and time things so that, you know, you'll have your cigarette at the right time. <laughs> I mean, really, it was like I gave up a part-time job because I no longer had to bob and weave and, and try to adjust for all these different uh, circumstances and being around people and all that to have to put the cigarette equation into it. It's, it's gone and my life just, whew, it really got easier. And uh, it's true. It's, everything's just easier. It's so much easier not to empty ashtrays. It's so much easier not to think, oh geez, now I gotta get another pack or another carton of cigarettes. In fact, it's just easier not to think you've got the damned chore of having to do that. It's just too much work, really. So, well, speaking of exercise, I think I better get back on the, the bike. I guess I wasn't talking about exercise, but I was talking about weight. And hey, you know, a little bit of exercise takes care of that. 
I would never let that be an excuse to stop smoking. Anyway, if you know somebody that smokes, I encourage you to send them my video. And if you smoke, I encourage you to really consider what, I, what I've said. All of the things that I did and what my motivations were and the little tricks that I used to do it. And uh, I'll just leave you with this. It's easy. Quitting is easy.